Hello and welcome to a quick tutorial on the Bright Idea platform, the R2 Lesson Tank. If you're following from a link, you'll get to this screen where it will ask you to log in. Very simple process of clicking the Google Apps and then selecting your work email. It will take you right in. If it's your first time, what will end up happening is you have to go to a profile setup screen. It takes you about 30 seconds to a minute. And then it will take you to this page where you will put, you will click on this tile for the R2 lesson tank. And you'll get to view the topic. You'll notice on the front page, you have a bar across the top. This is the home screen. You can submit a resource here, browse the topics here. Uh, and then you also be able to submit a resource or browse from here as well. Okay, so as we scroll down the home screen, you will see a quick about for the lesson tank, how it came about, some tips for posting and tagging, an FAQ section, a submissions and use disclaimer, making sure that we're careful about copyright issues. You'll see some statistics of how many submissions and who's voting and posting and how many folks have been using the site. You have a place where you can keep your favorites. You can star your favorite lessons to come back to more quickly and easily next time. You've got a place to save drafts if you're in the process of submitting a lesson. And you've also got all the updates of people that have joined in and are posting lessons and things like that. Back at the top of the home screen, let's click Browse and jump into the tank itself to see the lessons, resources, and activities that are inside of it. When you first get to the main page, you'll see that every idea has its own tile. As you scroll down the screen, it'll keep refreshing to show you all the tiles that are available for you on the tank, which is awesome and also maybe a little bit nerve-wracking because there's a lot there. So you have a lot of great things to help you to filter. If you want to search, you can search for some particular person that you know has been posting. For example, here's a few that I've posted just by typing in someone's name who's on the tank. Um, let's say you're searching for something for your Spanish class. So do the language PS.4. You can search by a, uh, a standard perhaps or a content area like US history or biology, something like that's a good thing to search. You can find things that way. Um, on the tags, which is the next filter down, um, lots of tags here you can scroll through to see if any pop up, and there's just a ton of those there. One I would recommend to you is the R2 Littles hashtag. The ladies working on this initiative for K2 teachers are going to be adding some more things, so check that out in the tags section. Uh, the next one down is a subject, so if you're going to look particularly for a certain subject, we've got all the subjects listed here, or other if the one doesn't quite match what you are looking for. Um, let's try social studies. Now we're going to thin out from the 122 lessons now to the 29 that are all social studies. And then from there, we could actually go down to the grade band and pick, let's say, elementary. So now we're seeing the six lessons for elementary social studies that are uh, here on the tank. Um, let's just pick one example. Just do this one here. Elizabeth King submitted on the president's ear. So what you'll see is when you go into an idea, you will see a description. You will see the standards, the subject, and all the things like that that are there, some strategies and things to help you out. There's an attachments tab. Be sure to get that, and you'll see that you can link to a PDF here and the picture that was used to make the, the file. And there's just a lot of great things you'll find on here that will take you to a page or a resource, maybe a Google Doc or a Google folder. Um, if you really love a lesson, a couple things you can do. You can add a chip to someone's uh, you know, idea to give them a little bit of a little, a little shout out there. And you can also favorite an idea with the little star over here to be able to come back to it easier from your home screen like I showed you just a little bit ago. Okay, so you've just learned how to search the tank. My next quick video will show you how to fill the tank because it's really important that we get more and more teachers in Richland 2 onto this tank and this resource to show you guys how powerful it could be for you guys to share with each other your resources, your lessons, your ideas in a way that will really increase student engagement and learning.